done lesson 54. This one is on substitution axiom, simultaneous equations, solving simultaneous equations by substitution, blah, 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 blah. All that to say, if you had a problem like this, okay, most of the time they're going to tell you x is 2, y is 4, and p is negative 1. Okay, if that was the case, let's go on and just put all of these back in here. Uh, y is a, we're just putting all, y is a 4, so this is 2 times 4, and then this p is negative 1. Okay, so let's do parentheses first, PEMDAS. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is, sorry about that, fail. Okay, so once I've got 2 times um, 2 squared is 4, and then so 4 times 4 is 16 over negative 1. So 16 divided by negative 1 gives us a negative answer, and that's 16, final answer. Okay, so we just inserted the x in there, the y in there, and the p in there. Okay, now I need you to use that same thought with what we're fixing to do, about to do. <laughs> Sorry about my Tennessee language, fixing to. Okay, so ready? Here we go. They tell me, they give me these two equations, 2x minus y equals 1. And then they give me this one, x equals negative 3y plus 11. Now, they're going to give you these two equations, and they're going to kind of couple them like that. And they're going to say, Use substitution to solve for x and y. That's what the, the problem says. Okay, so I want you to look at these two, and you say to yourself, does it give me an answer? It does. It tells me that x equals this. Mm -hmm. So, guess what we're going to put in that x spot up top? Oh, gosh. Okay, so this x, which is this right here, is going to go in that x spot because it told us what x was. Okay, so here's what you're going to go. You're going to do, you're going to go 2 times that. So we're going to put this, three, three, negative 3y three plus 11 in our parentheses, in our x spot. And then we're going to say, is that saying minus y? Um, yes. I marked on it everything I couldn't see. Okay, so minus y equals 1. So basically, I rewrote this, and in that x spot, I put what they said x was. So now let's do our math that we've been taught recently in the last things. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6y plus 2 times 11 is 22 minus, I'm going to put 1y instead of just y, equals 1. And then I'm going to make this minus a plus negative just because I like working with pluses instead of minuses. Okay? Now, from the last weeks, you want to combine your y's. So I have a negative 6y and a negative 1y. That makes me have a, remember you have to see these as dogs. I have negative 6 dogs and negative 1 dogs, which gives me negative 7 dogs. Negative 7y plus 22 equals 1. Okay, and I'm running out of room, so I'm going to erase up what's the top. Okay? Now, this says negative 7y plus 22 equals 1. We want to put set negative 7y plus 22 equals 1. That's what it is. So I want to move this plus 22 across the equal so I can get 7y by itself. Negative 7y. So then this plus 22 becomes a negative 22 or a minus 22. Okay? And so then that is 1 plus a negative 22, which gives us negative 21. And so negative 70, negative 7y equals negative 71. So now this says negative 7 times y. When you see a number and a letter next to each other, it means um, multiply. So since we want to get the y by itself, since this is times negative 7, we're going to divide by negative 7. So then y gives us what answer? y equals negative 21 divided by negative 7, and two negatives make a positive, and so 21 divided by 7 is 3. So now, Okay, I'm going to go back up here, and that problem was 2x minus y equals 11, and then they also said x equals 
negative 3y plus 11. Okay, so now what you're going to do, we know that y equals 3. Mm -hmm. So now we have to figure out what? What, what x equals. equals. Okay, so we're going to take this y and we're going to put it back into the problem up here. So y equals 3, so I'm going to put 3 right here. And then we're going to determine what x is. Okay, so 2x minus or negative 3 plus a negative 3 is what it's going to be equals 11. Okay, put your x is on one side, this negative 3 comes over here to positive 3. That becomes 14. 2x equals 14. 2 times x, I want to get my x by itself, so I'm going to take this times 2 and bring it over and divide by 2. So x equals 7. So, you should have gotten x, uh, wait a minute, I didn't get the right answer. No, I must have done something wrong. Let me look back at that. Pause that. Okay, I figured out what I did. Up here I wrote the wrong thing. It was supposed to be 2x minus y equals 1. Huh, that changes everything. So I did everything right, I just wrote the wrong thing. So in math, it's very easy to do. So if I were to do this now, um, then I would get 2x plus, let's go on and write this out again, negative 3, and then equals 1. And then, let's just read that part. Okay, so now I want to get the 2x down here, and then let's move this negative 3 and make it a plus 3. Okay, so now it's 2x equals 4. And then 2 times x, and so since it's times x, we're going to divide, I'm sorry, so, yes, yeah, since it's times 2, we're going to divide by 2. So x equals 2. So x equals 2, and what would y equal? Y equal <coughs> 3 mm -hmm. from the last time, 3. And so your answer, what you're going to do is show an ordered pair. Remember, x comes first and then y. So you're going to say 2, 3. And that's your answer for mm -hmm. that problem. Okay. So whenever you're doing su substitution axioms, that's what you would do. Okay, let's do another one just to make sure you're understanding it. Sorry about the mix up. Okay, here we go. 2x plus 3y equals negative 13. Then y equals x minus 6. Now, on this, does it tell me something that equals? Yeah, y, y equals, equals that. Six. So, guess what you're going to do? You're going to put what, what y equals in that spot. So, here we go. 2x plus 3 times the y, which is x minus 6, equals negative 13. And then you just work it like normal. 3x minus 18. Okay? I'm going to make this a plus negative. All right, and bring everything else down. Now I'm going to add all my chickens. Two chickens and three chickens make five chickens. Plus negative 18 equals negative 13. I want to move my numbers, so I'm going to take this negative 18 and make it a positive 18. That gets rid of that. So then it says 5x equals negative 13 plus 18. And so that's going to give us a 5 once we subtract that. And so this says 5 times x, and so we want to get the x by itself. So this times 5 becomes divided by 5. And so x equals 1. Did you get that for your answer? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, then what you're going to do, since x equals 1, we're going to take the 1 and put it back up here so we can figure out what y is. So our x equals 1, so then 1 plus a negative 6, y equals 1 plus a negative 6, negative 5. y equals negative 5. So if you were to write that, remember x comes first, and then y, so x was 1 and y was negative 5. 1, negative 5 would be your ordered pair and how you would write that. Got it? Yep. All right, let's do one more, and then we're done. Um, or missed. <clears throat> this is 54.4. This one might get a little bit 
harder. Negative x minus 2y equals 4. And this one has a lot of negatives, so you got to really pay attention to this one. And then it tells me x equals negative 3x, I'm sorry, y equals, y equals negative 3x plus 8. Okay, now they told me something that equals y equals this. So where this y is, I'm going to put this. So here we go. So I'm going to put negative x minus 2, and then this y goes here. Negative 3x plus negative, I mean 8 equals 4. So all I did is took this y and put that in that spot. Okay? Now, let's go on, leave this for a moment, and let's do this. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6x, and then 2 times 8 is 16. I'm going to bring everything else down. Um, now, here I want you to see, I'm going to bring this minus down and then this minus x. Um, I'm thinking I probably plus positive. should have went plus negative because this, this 2, um, yeah. So I'm going to want to do that. I'm going to make this plus negative. And so then when I multiply this negative 2 times this negative 3, it's going to give me a positive 6. And this negative 2 times a positive 8 is going to give me a negative 16. Okay. That was important. I'm glad I saw, I saw that. So in the very beginning, this minus 2, because this 2 applies to this and it has a negative in front of it, let's go and make it a plus negative because we need to do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to make this 1x. Okay, so now we're going to add our um, chickens. I have a negative 1 chicken and a 6 chicken. So that gives me five chickens. And then I'm going to take this plus or this negative 16 and put um, a positive plus 16. So that's going to give me 20. So 5x equals 20. And so therefore, x is going to be 4. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. So x equals 4. Right? Yeah. Okay. So my x is 4. So I'm going to put 4 in my ordered pair right here. X goes first and then Y. Okay, so X is 4. Now, let's figure out what Y is. Y is, and then let's put a 4 right there. Okay, now you could put it up here if you want to. Yeah. You're still going to get the same answer. Okay, so here we go. Um, negative 12 plus 8, Y equals, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 4. Negative 4, Y equals. Okay? So 4, negative 4 is our answer for that ordered pair. Okay. Okay? And they give us, oh, you're going to have to do this one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to show you this one. I thought it was going to be done. But 54.5 kind of shows something a little confusing. So let me go on and show this one to you. 2x plus 3y equals 5. And then it says this, x equals y. You just say... It tells us that x equals y. So what you're going to do is where you see that x, you're going to put a y. Yeah. Okay? So 2y plus 3y becomes, I'm just going to hold this out of the way for a minute, 5y equals 5. So then y by itself would be y equals 1. So if y is a 1, then what does x equal? 1. 1. So guess what? Y and X equal 1. Just wanted to show you that real quick. If you want to read, do that, want to listen to it again, you can. Okay. Lesson 54.